Hi there, and welcome to this day in history for December 7th. December 7th is the 341st day of the year in the Gregorian calendar, 342nd in leap years with 24 days remaining to the end of the year. Today's word is myriad. Myriad can be a noun or an adjective. As a noun, myriad can mean 10,000 or a great number such as a myriad of ideas or a large but not specified or counted number such as myriads of stars. As an adjective, myriad means extremely numerous, as <laughs> in the myriad grains of sand on the beach. Myriad comes to us from Greek, words that meant countless or 10,000. First known use as a noun is in 1555 and as an adjective in 1735. Myriad. And with that, on December 7th, 1787, Delaware became the first state to ratify the United States Constitution. This is the birthday of Richard Warren Sears, born December 7th, 1863. He's a co-founder of Sears, of course. Sears started out as a catalog mail order company in 1892. They were known then as Sears Roebuck and Company. Then they began opening retail locations in 1925. Sears was the largest retailer in the United States through 1980s, through the 1980s. But in the 1990s, Walmart and Kmart began to overtake them in sales. Sears was purchased by Kmart in 2005. And I do have to wonder what Mr. Sears would have thought of all this. He lived to the age of 50. This is the birthday of American novelist and short story writer and poet Willa Cather, born December 7th, 1873. She lived to the age of 73. December 7th, 1917, the United States declared war on Austria-Hungary. That's a World War I thing there. On December 7th, 1922, Northern Ireland voted to remain part of the United Kingdom and not unite with the southern portion of the island, Southern Ireland. On December 7th, 1941, the Imperial Japanese Navy carried out a surprise attack on the United States Pacific Fleet and its defending Army and Marine Air Forces at Pearl Harbor in Hawaii, the day which will live in infamy. Instant Replay made its debut during the Army-Navy football game in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania on December 7, 1963. I remember wondering how in the world did they do that? Because at the time you could either broadcast live or film it and film had to be developed and edited, which takes a while. <laughs> so I wondered how they did it, but yeah, Instant Replay was quite the innovation. Of course, we don't even think about it now, but there you go. Now, the last Apollo moon mission, Apollo 17, was launched on December 7th, 1972. The crew took the photograph known as the Blue Marble as they left the Earth. And the Blue Marble, I remember thinking what an amazing image that was. In 1972, a TV series premiered called Kung Fu, starring David Carradine as Kwai Chang Kane, a Shaolin monk skilled in martial arts who had come to America in the 1870s to look for his half-brother. The show ran for right around three years. Loved that show. <laughs> Made a routine of watching it. That was back in the days when if you didn't catch a show when it aired, you'd have to wait for reruns. I think VCRs existed, but we didn't have one. And this was way before any kind of on-demand viewing. So if you loved a show, you sure planned around the night it aired. Anyway, Kung Fu was the series on TV. And then you began to see Kung Fu movies, mostly coming out of Hong Kong. Lots of martial arts movies. So the Kung Fu motif and martial arts motif became very popular and a man named Carl Douglas released a song called Kung Fu Fighting in 1974. 
It hit number one on the Billboard Hot 100 on December 7, 1974 for the first of two weeks. The single sold 11 million records worldwide, one of the best-selling singles of all time. This was a one-hit wonder for Carl Douglas, but several other artists have covered the song. Kung Fu Fighting by Carl Douglas, number one, December 7, 1974. Link in the description. And I think that's going to do it for us today. Thank you so much for watching. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Feel free to share this video with a link in your email, messaging, or social media. If you enjoy this series, you can check out the playlist that contains these videos. I'll put a link to that in the description. That description lives on YouTube, so for other platforms, I'll include the link to my blog page that is called No Really. <laughs> you can also find me on Rumble, Parlor, BitChute, and Gitter. All those links in that description. Alrighty, that's all I can think of right now. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.